And uh, we were just talking before the show started that uh, we had to take the middle of the night creepy flight home. The red eye, they call it the red eye. The red eye. I'm sure a lot of people uh, know exactly what we're talking about, but I hate flying in general. We've flown so much in the last two years, I, I'm kind of dealing with it finally. But I'm I, I'm still really bad when it comes to flying in the middle of the night. It's just creepy time. It's just creepy time. You try to you try to doze off and 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 it, you just feel like you're entering into a nightmare. Like you feel every bump. You're looking out the window. Everything is just creepy. Hurtling through the cosmos <laughs> right. in they, the pitch darkness. And they don't help things because they turn all the lights off in the plane. Kind of like that. And you know it ain't the starting team doing the plane. You know. <laughs> it's not the A team, right? God, you know what? I never even thought of it that you way. You know, the, like the real dudes don't don't fly the red eye flight with the. They get the nice time. You know, they get to pick and choose. Oh, I'm flying during the day. I got I got a life at night. You notice there's a he's a two he's a two star guy. The five star guys fly to you know fly those ten hour flights in the daytime. You're think, trying to think of radio. Think of you know who's on from like midnight to four in the morning. Some drug addict. It's not. <laughs> You know, usually it's not like the the best show <laughs> the pilot, in the world. The pilot has that voice. Hey, everybody. We're How you the, doing? We're on the red eye tonight. He's oh, like, he's way too excited. Got to fly, baby. He's way too excited to be there because he's only done seven flights. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's, man. He's still just excited he's, to be there. He's long at hours. It's <laughs> Dr. Sure. Volta. <laughs> yeah, from the flight deck, ladies and gentlemen, like to thank you for coming on board and everybody uh, from our Cleveland-based crew. But I'd also like to say hi. And let me tell you something. We're going to give away rock concert tickets to anyone sitting in row 29. Row 29, give us a call right now in the flight deck, and we'll be giving away those tickets. Woo! Dude! That's me! Dude! <laughs> Patrice, Patrice, congratulations. I'll be back on the uh, speaker after these words. <laughs> yeah. I hate you. I never thought of it that way. Basically, you're saying we had day strippers flying the, uh, yeah, the plane. Day, day strippers. No, day strippers. What, what person that's number one does anything... At night, the worst security guards are doing security <laughs> right. at night. The worst bus drivers are the the worst. You ever go to the Port Authority at night? Sometimes you just go through there. <laughs> it's just the frightening. The worst. It, you know who works at three in the morning? Janitors. That's who flew your <laughs> plane. <laughs> Janitors flew the plane. <laughs> and, and it didn't help that we had to uh, fly into Cleveland. So what kind of what kind of staff are you getting out of Cleveland? <laughs> yeah, we had to get because you know both ways from New York to Cleveland to Vegas, <laughs> and then from Vegas to Cleveland to New York. So you hear that? Sorry, Cleveland. And from the entire Cleveland-based crew, we'd like to say Cleveland. Cleveland based. based. Some depressed pilot is like, oh, oh, I know. He's just Some angry. Some depressed guy out of Cleveland is like, oh, my girl just left me. There's a mountain to the left. I should just. I I, I could ram right into that lake. <laughs> you know they I think just it every take time. Off and dip it face first right into the lake. You know some of these guys think it every time. Like, you know what? I could kill Obi and Anthony right now. And then at the last second, like, all right, well, maybe tomorrow will be a better day. Uh, a tomorrow. man a man, a man cow uh, fan is flying. A suicidal man cow fan is flying. I'm just going to crash this thing. <laughs> screw fly. screw it's them. <laughs> it, it, it's true. You're just not getting the, uh, the, no, that not the number one the team. No. 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 They ask me when I want to fly. I go... I go the early morning white businessman flight. That's what I like. Where they want to they want to keep, keep stay keep people alive. I You're like early, you get where you want to go early. I like flying when there's plenty of sunshine. It takes out it takes away all that creepiness. That creepiness. Or an overnight Ugh. flight that's not a red eye, like a flight that needs to be overnight. Because like, it's so long. Starts in the You're day. You're going to Tokyo. And, and, exactly, <laughs> where you change in time. Then I, then right. I don't mind that, but when you go from Cleveland to Newark at at, at 4.30 in the morning. For whatever it was. <laughs> that's yeah, what it was. It was, it was just middle of the night. Middle of the night, the flight crew couldn't, they, like Ope said, the, the flight attendants didn't know who was dropping on the floor. All right, yeah, they're, I, I got to get into that They're story. tapping other people. Let me get into that story. And the pilot wears their own clothes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're not even pilot clothes. So, so, pa so, Patrice, the story I'm about to tell you, now it all makes sense because you, uh, you, uh, you, 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 you explained it so eloquently, better than I'm explaining right now. They are day strippers. You're getting not the gr the greatest crew to fly in the middle of the night. So uh, we we fly out of Vegas, and uh, I, I'm out cold because now we've been up uh, close to 24 hours or whatever it would be. I don't know. Figure out the time zone and all that crap. But pretty mm. much we've been up a very long time. So 
uh, surprisingly, I was able to, in my world, I was able to fall asleep, which I, I, I'm amazed because every bump I'm waking up and, uh, and just creeped out. But I'm out cold. And the last I remember, I was out cold up against the window. My girlfriend was right next to me. She's all bundled in her blanket, and she's got a pillow on my shoulder. So all is well with the world, okay? Flying back to New York. Love on the red eye. She's right next to me. I'm out cold. She's sleeping. All is good, right? I am woken up. I don't know if I was sleeping five minutes or two hours. I have no clue. No clue. All disoriented. Yeah, I, I wake up. I'm completely disoriented, and I got a stewardess in my face in a panic. Obviously, she's part of the B or C team, not the A team, because I think the A team would have handled this a little differently. Uh -huh. <laughs> she she just she shakes me awake, and she's got this panic look on her face. I'm like, uh -huh. you need to fly the plane. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> it might as well have been. Yeah, <laughs> you're open. You've worked aboard at a radio station. That's the closest we've got. To someone that knows how to fly this plane. You have flying experience? No. And then she goes on to the next person just shaking everyone just away. shake them. So I, I'm awoken by this stewardess in a complete panic. And she's just shaking me. And I'm looking her at, right in the eye. And she goes, was your girlfriend just sitting here? And I turn. <laughs> and I turn. And remember... All I remember was me all snuggled up next to the window. My girl is on my shoulder. All is well with the world. Now she wakes me up in a complete panic and goes, was your girlfriend sitting right there? I go, uh, yeah. Now you're thinking, what, she <laughs> jump? <laughs> that's, that's what I was going to say. The first thing you think is you're, wait, you're waiting for the air that's, that's pushing your face against the back of the chair. Yeah. Because the door's open. Right. she's informing you your girl just jumped out of the gut. Or some kind of gold finger thing happened where the window got blown out and she just got sucked right out. <laughs> she's stuck on the back. End. <laughs> yeah. And the only way we can keep flying is she stays on the window. Was so. she here? So, dude, middle of the night, all lights are off except some ass that has to catch up on his reading at four in the morning and uh, and so now i see an empty seat start the twilight zone moment here i'm like what the f Where's she goes girl? was was she taking any medication i go no not that i know of now you're thinking yeah she went crazy and right jumped out of window. no i'm thinking right away where the where is she but she's staying uh, this is the thing about dramatic people uh -huh. okay you go wake up for a second uh, is everything a mystery building up like this thing that is is really causing you to actually panic more? Of level course. Of, like, she's like, oh, my God, is your girlfriend here? It's like, what? Yeah. Does she take Medicaid? Like, you, you st she's putting things in your head so that you yeah. can... Oh, yeah. Start imagining Dude, your girlfriend. Is there any way she could have gotten a gun on the plane? <laughs> Did, like, you're waiting for that stuff to start coming out of her mouth. Right. What the hell? Is Right. So <laughs> she's seeing men on the wing. And and, <laughs> and keep in mind, you know, up almost 24 hours uh, flying in the middle of the night, which is a creepy time to begin with. She's in a complete panic. The stewards, while she's sitting there, I look, empty seat, just a little pillow askew on the seat. I'm like, what the F? Right? And she goes, uh, was she on any medication? I said, uh, not that I know of. What are you doing now? Are you standing up? Are you still Dude, I'm still trying to, I'm, I'm trying to, like, you know, digest everything that's going on because I was, I was out cold. Got to wrap your mind around it. It's bad enough to wake up to, uh, on those flights, it's bad enough to be nudged, woken up and going, do you want a cookie? Yeah, yeah. Like that gets you like, ah, what cookie? <laughs> what type? Is it chocolate chip or oatmeal? Ah! You know, you freak out. At that, never mind. Did you have a girlfriend sitting here? <laughs> She's not turning up on our uh, uh, roster of passengers. She never existed. I just want to let you know she never existed. What? Yeah. I, like, I thought, flight plan. But it's she like was flight here. Plan. I, flight plan, yeah. My daughter? Every, I don't know. No, she was never here. You Sorry. You see my girlfriend? I don't know. Every, no. Everything from thinking, you know, that I'm, I'm, I'm realizing my girlfriend's actually an alien and decided to go back to her home planet. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, and you know, something like that's a viable yet. option at that point. I not... know she wrote in her language. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. it's, a, it's a Stargate map to where she lives. <laughs> if you want to come, you just... <laughs> <laughs> but that's completely reasonable when you're just shocked awake at 35,000 feet. Right. In the middle of, like, Idaho or wherever the hell she we were. The Glorock 12. Yeah. Uh, Glorock. Yeah. So, <laughs> it's my Millennium Dad. So, <laughs> Galaxy, my mouth ain't wet. So it gets better. What are you, man? It actually gets better. So woken up from a, from a, from a you know, a, 
a, a, a solid sleep, girlfriend completely gone, Stuart's in a complete panic, her arms are still around me that she used to shake me violently awake. Shook you awake, nice. Was she on medication? She's looking me in the eye. Was she on medication? I'm like, no, not that I know of. And then she goes, you better come with me. Oh, no. I'm like, what? Where are we going? Where There's only going? so many places to go on a plane. And per where we're going is going to look exactly like where we are now. Right. So there must be a problem like, somewhere else on this so aircraft. Like, where the hell is she? Did she go to the back of the <laughs> yeah. plane? Is she in the cockpit? Is she, was it did ever, she decide she, she's a stewardess and went crazy? I, I don't know. Was there ever any moment like, where you thought anything bad of her? Like, she's in the back <laughs> She's in the back sleeping with a guy in, in row 12. Yeah, right. Yeah, oh, right. my God. Right. This whole Kisses somebody in the back. Yeah, right. You Smile, high Sorry club, crap. and you're not even involved. <laughs> Sir, is your is your is your girlfriend faithful? You think? What? What? Oh no! Wait, wait, wait! What? <laughs> Did Everything was worried about. It was yeah. nothing where you go. Yeah. It was no point where you go. What the? What, what is she doing? You can run the gamut of problems, and not one of them can be canceled out. Like anything is open. <laughs> and it was. And, and by the way, uh, it was a seven thirty seven, relatively small, small aircraft. aircraft. Well, like, so it's not like. Uh, where is she? Is she up in the lounge of the seven forty seven? Oh, one of those double decker Airbuses, you know? Just for um, like uh, four yeah, like, class seats or something. something. Yeah, there's like four rows. Four rows. Up. Front, yeah, right, and then, know. you know, a few in the back. and so She can't go anywhere. So we're up to the point where the stewardess goes, you better come with me. Now I'm like, wow, wow, there's now something long, serious going on. Say, how long would you say from the time you woke up to the time you better come with me had went by? It, it couldn't have been more than a second and a half. That's the panic the stewardess had. She got all that out. Shook me. Was she sitting here? Medication. Better come with me, all within, I would say, a second and a half. So now I stumble up, I'm banging into people, and I go to the front of the plane with the stewardess, right? And all of a sudden, this is what I see. And remember, I swear I've only been awake for a matter of seconds. Still rubbing crusties out of your eyes. I see a girl completely out cold on her back. Where they where they make your coffee and 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 uh, and uh, your meals. The forward galley. Out cold on her back, arms like out to her sides, like in the Jesus Christ position. So is it? It's your girl, dude. Because I'm barely awake, I, I have no doubt it's my girlfriend. It's, a, it's cause you, yeah, I, I have no working. doubt. Your mind ain't working. Well, my mind's not working, and the stewardess set me up. That something <laughs> horrific happened to your girlfriend. I see the empty seat. I'm like. Oh, Does oh my she God. have the basic physical attributes? <laughs> like, oh my God, my girl is dead and yeah. she's fat now. <laughs> <laughs> my girl forgot high cholesterol, she had a heart attack. <laughs> oh, did you feed her? Stealing Twinkies? Oh God, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, this girl is out cold, looks dead, ashen. Is that a good word to use? I mean, she is like not not the color of a human Just being. Zombie, Com zombie completely white. Yeah. out on her back. Completely out what on color, her back. What color is her hair? Well, uh, after I woke up, uh, <laughs> I realized that this girl's hair was. <laughs> She was kind a of black a, woman kind of, with a big afro. Kind, kind of and, reddish with a little brown in it, which is a little different than... Uh, she was a midget with <laughs> one leg and... <laughs> <laughs> but you, listen... You, you don't even think that, though, like in that situation. Patrice, you know what? You're... Uh, you're all you see, right. all you see is a girl on the ground, and you think, uh oh, right, dude, my the beautiful girlfriend died, and then she turned into an ugly wig. <laughs> <laughs> but that was she was from Oz. <laughs> <laughs> but look, man, the stewardess set me up, wakes me up. There's an empty seat where I knew she was. We're on a plane. I'm like, uh, what, are they, the, what are the odds that uh, this this dope doesn't know what she's talking about? Especially Run to the front of the plane. Here's a girl completely out, ash and white. I'm like, maybe I don't recognize her because she's dead. She's yeah. Dead. This is what happens when you die. Seriously. And, and, I've and, seen dead people, unfortunately, and you don't look the same as you did alive. Not on a plane, but... And, no, and, not and the whole plane. thing in the front of the plane is where the flight attendants are and stuff. They should know. That should be the place that they know everything that's going on. Right. That little area where they uh, just hang out. You can understand if it's like halfway through the plane or something happens, you know, they'd be a little confused. But it's right where they hang out. That's right. their office in the sky. Can I ask you another question? This is, it's so, this is a fascinating story, man. Was there any other people around this dead body? 
like that I, was doing something as this other woman like was it like all right no this, oh my god i think no. she was sitting in in 4b yeah go get the man no 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 no. this girl this girl fell down like seconds before the stewardess woke me up it all just was happening in the moment it was just a dead woman by herself and with, with, a, with, with a, a cornflakes with on. one stewardess already on her knees like okay, trying to figure right. out what to do right, okay. and the other stewardess deciding that it was my girlfriend, and I need to be on the scene immediately because you, you might, she might want to say, uh, you know, goodbye to you. She might have a final message. <laughs> Oof. I'm not kidding, dude. That's how. <laughs> that's the feeling I got. Uh, buckle your seatbelt. Uh, so now I'm looking at this girl that in my get a refund. In my mind, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Voucher. I'm looking at this girl. Upgrade. Boom. <laughs> So at this point, I'm looking at this girl that looks like she could be on her last breath, could be dead. They already said it's my girlfriend. I'm like, I'm ready to go into into holy ass complete panic mode. Mm -hmm. Like, start screaming, somebody do something. <laughs> we got to land oh, this plane. Uh, I'm ready to go into whatever you have to say and do. Something's missing from the story, too. I, I really wish we could get Opie's real what he really did. You know a tear was coming. No, dude, it, honestly, uh, oh, come on, we're pretty honest in the show. I, it was it was all just happening. And, and Panic. Just, I'm not uh, kidding. Just when I was about to, like, drop to my knees and go into holy-ass panic mode, the bathroom door opens up, and there's Lindsay. <laughs> and I'm like... Like, hey, what, what's happening? And I'm like, my brain cannot... Uh, Cannot digest what's going on at this point. Cannot. I'm like, what the? And now I swear, because I just woke up. I mean, it's key to the story that this whole thing went down in less than like five seconds at this point. Hope I, you had a nice <laughs> Arnold. <laughs> my stupid brain at this point goes, is that like her spirit? <laughs> did, did, is that, That's what happens when you did, die. You right? go to an airliner bathroom. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like. Is she now? Uh, is she now like an angel saying goodbye to me or something? Because this all just happened. Like she just died, and here's her spirit lifting out of her body. And I guess she had to relieve herself before she went to heaven. Was there <laughs> Death flight, a Quinn Martin production. Was there a guy behind her making a clay pot with her? <laughs> <laughs> so she walks out of the bathroom at the moment I'm ready to go into holy as panic mode. Oh, now. Immediately, I'm thinking she's an angel, and she just stepped out of her body. And then it, I finally was able to figure out what was going on. I'm like, oh, my God, it's not her. A Holy case God. of mistaken identity at 35,000 feet. A Quinn Martin production. <laughs> she walks out of the bathroom. I'm like, what? Which goes to show you the red eye staff right. did not Does see your know. girl get up right. and walk to the bathroom and be in there uh -huh. as, as a fat woman passed and the out. And the stupid tape they play before you take off talking about their highly trained staff or whatever. You're be flying with some of the best people in yeah. the business. Yeah. Really? I, his girl didn't peek out the uh, the captain's. Uh, hey, what's up? Yeah. What's happening? I was just right, chilling no. up here. Right. I don't know. Put, pressing some buttons. Hey, there's so, a comfortable seat here. This guy, <laughs> I was just chilling. So, and this just goes to show you what we're all about. I, I truly believe I'm not the only one that would do this. So L Lindsay walks out of the bathroom. I realize it's not a ghost or her spirit or her as an angel saying goodbye before she has to now, you know, go up to heaven. Thanks for, you know, 35,000 feet. I don't have to go now. I don't have to go as far. I don't have to fly that with <laughs> right. my new angel wings. Right. I got a little head start. You can just drop me off right here. Uh, so, so I grab her hand. I go, and I, I, I just walk back to my seat, not giving a crap about this person anymore. Step over the body oh, on the floor. I absolutely did. Wait a minute, but just for still in the air karma purposes, <laughs> you didn't go, you didn't rub the lady's hair and go, oh, my no. God, get well, and just go away get and try well. to keep <laughs> no. try this, to keep the plane in the air. At this point, I didn't know. I didn't want to know her name. I didn't know what was wrong. I didn't want to know what was wrong with her. You just look at you watching. Go, how much more sleep can I get? Oh, Matter of fact. God. Not even an interest <laughs> enough to find out whatever happened to her. Could give a flying F. Go and you, back. And your girl's like, what happened? You're like, oh, I, this lady up here was dead, and I thought it was you. <laughs> <laughs> I go back to my seat, and then uh, the plane's in panic mode. Did this wake you up, by hey, the way? I was just going to say that. I slept. You the, were on the plane during the death of, of his girl? I was right next to him. I, I was like right across the uh, the aisle. 
from this whole thing that was going on a little in front of me. I was so asleep that all I heard, and I remember this, I just kind of opened one eye and I heard a flight attendant go, Do we have a doctor or an EMT on board the plane? Please come to the front of the aircraft. Dude, and I, I looked over. I saw my girl was next to me. I looked at me. I was fine. So I went right back to sleep. Obi's girl was missing. I, and you said, oh. I didn't care. I did not care. And I'm thinking, you know, if, if you need a doctor or an EMT on an airplane, it's probably something serious. I'm fine. My seat's fine. My little space at yeah. 35,000 feet yeah. was okay. So back to sleep, <laughs> and and now that I saw that Lindsay was all right, I didn't give a, f I didn't care. I'm like, back ah, dead sleep. girl, they'll figure out. So just like every movie, they're like, is there a doctor on board? Any nurses, doctors, EMTs, and then just a sea of doctors. It's nice to know there's a lot of doctors on the flight. It sucked to be a doctor. It's like I just wanted to fly. And you can see these doctors were woken up. They're all like disheveled, and and all I know is because I. Honestly, didn't care. She laid on that floor, that that woman, for, I don't know. I asked Lindsay later on. She said at least an hour, two hours, she laid on that floor. They finally got her up, got her to her seat, and there was an ambulance waiting when we uh, touched down in Cleveland. Oh, when care. we pulled up to the gate, there were all kinds of flashing lights at the gate. And then uh, the, uh, we pulled in, and usually they take the sick person out first. We're all grabbing our crap out of the overheads and dragging them. Oh, yeah. We didn't care. We, we got off the plane, oh, and I later on we heard something about... Her stomach? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know, know either. I Penny? had a rumor. Well, I slept through the whole thing. This is the first time I'm hearing that they made the announcement about the doctor. Right? <laughs> oh, you don't even know? <laughs> what, what, the lady woke me up to bring my seat up because they had to get, like, the medical kit behind my yeah, It's behind chair. your seat? And then they had, like, these big garbage bags, so I guess she got sick on herself, and she had to change or whatever. Oh, oh. I Kenny, slept through the whole you're, thing. You're damn near a U.S. Air Marshal type of dude. Yeah, yeah and he's just, just snoring. Right snoring away. <laughs> so this is the first I'm hearing of the doctor announcement. I slept right through Oh, that. yeah, man. And then there was, like, this commotion, and I didn't care. Now I'm just sitting in the seat. I'm glad she's okay. And I remember thinking to myself, this... This woman, because she passed out on this plane, we're not going to make it to Cleveland. That's what I was thinking. That yeah, they're, they're going to find the nearest airport down somewhere else. I'm like, Son of inconvenience a... us. Is there a man on the plane who can protect us in case someone attacks us? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a trained professional bodyguard on the plane? <laughs> All right, listen. <laughs> It was an it was an amazing flight, but you, and you know Patrice set it up perfectly because I never thought of it that way. Yeah, yeah. you're not getting the A crew, you're getting like uh, the day strippers, pretty much. You're pretty lucky when those ground uh, wheels hit the ground. Yeah, go to your local strip club at uh, I don't know one in the afternoon and see see what's dancing there. <laughs> yeah, same the crap is same, scars. <laughs> same crap is going on with uh, the airline industry. Uh, and, oh, oh, and just to finish the story, it's a quickie. So then, when everything kind of calms down, the stewardess who just put me in this complete panic. Like I've never panicked before in my life. Goes, sorry, hon. I hope I didn't scare you. And sorry, I go, hon. so I just went. I, I put both arms up. I go, don't even effing talk to me. Didn't want to hear it. Didn't want to look hey, at her. Hey, warriors. Sorry yeah, about yeah, that. Baby. <laughs> sorry, babies. Hope you got back to Long Island. <laughs> Where was they sorry back about to that. Sorry, babies. <laughs> That's what Obi got. Good yeah. traveling. Yeah. Like she was Ethel, the, 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 the waitress at the <laughs> truck stop. Yeah. Sorry, honey. Wrong pancakes. I know you asked for blueberry, but I brought you walnuts. You ain't allergic, are you? I'm going to bring you the right ones right away. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't even going to charge you for them. Sorry, baby. Your girlfriend's dead. Sorry, Opie. So obviously, that, babies. obviously, we figured out after the fact, you know, Lindsay got up to go to the bathroom, and this girl must have pretty much been right behind her, maybe going to the bathroom. Uh, obviously, she was going to the bathroom as well. Oops. Lindsay goes in. I guess the stewardess was turning around making coffee or something. I don't know. And then, boom, so the old out. switcheroo happened. The old <laughs> switcheroo. And you're on a plane. It's not like you're at a, I don't know, a concert or something. Where there's Pretty easy to find. Where there's a million different possibilities. There's not many possibilities when you're on a plane and all of a sudden you turn and there's an empty seat. And especially if there's a, the occupied thing on the bathroom, perhaps the first thing you want to do is knock on that bathroom door, see who's in there, so as not to panic another passenger. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
<laughs> or panic oh, like Fan is right now to get to break. Oh, I know. <laughs> He's freaking. Uh, excuse me, sir. Um... <laughs> uh, blah, 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 blah. All right. Uh, excuse we... me, sir. Have you seen our commercial break? <laughs> uh, it was sitting right here next to you, and apparently it's not here. It was supposed to be here about ten minutes ago. <laughs> oh, my God. Fan is starting to take my concentration away. <laughs> <laughs> Hovering around because he can't say, hey, look, Opie, throw the break, sucker. So he's floating around me. I'm like, <laughs> break, nigga. <laughs> oh, he's freaking out. Do they dump out of that? No, who knows? Oh, geez, Al, don't dump out of that. A Come black on, guy Al. said it. Gee, Black people are still allowed to say that word, Al.